Thanks for watching London. It's Relationship Tuesday! <laughs> um, today's topic is relationships on the rebound. Have you ever just gotten out of a relationship and jumped right into another one? I mean, I have done it. Um, I don't know how to put this, but in honesty, I have ended relationships and kind of like before I can come to consciousness, I'm in another one. Not because I purposely planned out things that way, but the opportunity presents itself. And before you know it, you're in something without knowing it. And if you're one of those people, then hey, I can identify with that. But I have come to a place of maturity in my life where I don't settle for anyone and anything that just presents themselves. Because if we be realistic, even when you're in a relationship, you still get the opportunity thrown at you to be with someone else. People are still uh, throwing themselves at you. People are still trying to date you. People are still trying to get your phone number. People are still trying to get to know you, talk to you on the side, tell you ain't nobody gonna know, blah, 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 blah. And if we just be real with ourselves, there's, the opportunity is always there. Um, and sadly to say, some of us actually take advantage of those opportunities and not be faithful to the person that we're with. But the question that I'm asking you is, once you are exiting one relationship, do you find yourself being the type of person that wind up in a relationship on the rebound? Meaning you you just broke up with someone. You just broke up. You just got out of a relationship, whether good or bad. And, hey, there's some person that was your friend, the person that was your confidant. Usually that person that may have been your emotional surrogate. That person that you go to and confide and tell your business to, blah, 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 blah. All of a sudden, boom, bang, pow, you're in a relationship with this person. Are you one of those people that in relationships and wind up in another relationship? And why do you do that? Especially if the relationship was abusive to you, uh, demoralizing to you in some type of way, or caused you some type of hurt, affliction, pain. Why do we do that to ourselves? And I've once heard someone say this in doing videos in the past. There was a person that responded and we could, did a collaboration on, on videos. Um, her name is Tia. And she did a video with me on living single. And the relation, it was about relationships, of course. And she was talking about how ending in one relationship she was in for three years and it took her just as long as she was in that relationship to get over it and when I heard it you know I was just at my third year mark at being out of my relationship and to be honest with you it wasn't until that following year which was the beginning of this year that literally the ice broke and everything about that relationship no longer mattered. Period. And it took as long as I was in that relationship to get over the previous relationship, the old relationship. Um, so that's the question I'm saying to you. Do you wind up in relationships on the rebound? Do you understand the importance of allowing yourself to heal and process what you have been through? Maybe you're not the victim. Maybe you're the person who did the wrong. It doesn't matter what side of the fence you're on. Have you allowed yourself to take note of what you have experienced? Have you allowed yourself the opportunity to do some self-evaluation? And have you allowed yourself to heal mentally, physically, your self-esteem, you know, your mental scars that you're dealing with? Have you allowed yourself the opportunity to heal? That is the most um, profound thing that you can actually do for yourself after experiencing an abusive relationship. So that's my question to you today is, have you allowed yourself to be in uh, relationships on the rebound? I want you to tweet me. I want you to share me on Facebook. 
I want you to Google me. I want you to watch me on Blit or YouTube. And most of all, if this video has been thought provoking to you, I want you to respond. Thanks for watching. The Michael London Show is brought to you in part by Michael London Clothing. www.michaellondonnewyork.spreadshirt.com where you can get your Michael London apparel. to facebook.com at the Michael London show or follow me on Twitter Michael London TV on Twitter catch past episodes or current episodes of the Michael London show on blip.tv the Michael London show thanks